Hello, I would like to uh, go over another rhythm and this one is more complicated um, but before I talk about it I want to clap it and I will clap it to the metronome sound so I will switch my metronome on uh, at tempo 46 beats per minute which is a largo tempo so a slow tempo so those are the quarter notes and here the rhythm goes So a two four meter has two quarter notes or their equivalents in a measure. That means uh, four eighth notes, eight sixteenth notes, uh, and so on, or a combination of them. Uh, whatever belongs to one beat is beamed together. So these two notes here uh, do not belong together. Um, and uh, so, but these are beamed together, these are beamed together, these are beamed together, and so on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, anyways, so some features we have in here. We do have one quarter note. Um, many of the notes are either eighth notes or sixteenth notes. Uh, we also have a triplet. A triplet means that we have one beat, one quarter note equivalent, but we have three notes. Uh, and we have a syncopation, and a syncopation means that the emphasized note, which which is always the first beat uh, of a um, of a two four rhythm, uh, the the first note that falls on the beat is shorter, and the note that is off beat, the following eighth note here, is a little bit longer. So that gives a rhythmic shift, and we call that a syncopation. <clears throat> anyway, so let's count the rhythm and I will do this three times and if you like you can listen the first time uh, and as soon as you get a hang of it you can uh, count along but that is the main goal to count along with me uh, so here it goes I will switch on the metronome again okay ready go one and two and a one e and two e and a one a two e and a one and two la li one e a two e and a one e and two one and two and a one e and two e and a one a two e and a one and two la li one e a two e and a one e and two one and two and a one e and two e and a one a two e and a one and two la li one e a two e and a one e and two so um you can do it as often as you want you can always um, rewind this video go back uh, to the beginning ideally you should do this um, uh, once a day for at least a week so you have done it uh, many times to really internalize uh, internalize these kinds of rhythms or this rhythm in particular with its specific features so we have these eighth notes we have and these are very common rhythmic patterns we have an eighth with two sixteenths and this is switched around two sixteenths with an eighth uh, four sixteenths a dotted uh, note and remember a dot always prolongs the uh, note value by half of its own value that means an eighth note with a dot is an eighth plus half of an eighth which is a sixteenth um, so what is remaining on the speed is another sixteenth uh, and so on and again the triplet which divides one beat evenly into three and the syncopation so we will end this video uh, with clapping this rhythm. Now, since I will use my hands, I can't uh, use the cursor to show where we are, um, but I will 
um, do it three times. I will clap the rhythm three times and uh, I want you to follow the rhythm with your eyes um, and uh, so you always know where you are uh, and uh, try to clap along. If you make a mistake, we will continue moving on. Uh, you can always go back later, uh, but uh, try to follow the rhythm. So here it goes. I will switch the metronome on. Ready, go. Again. Again. All right, uh, very good. And uh, just to finish up, I want to demonstrate the difference between the triplet and the syncopation. Um, but uh, first, so if the, the quarter notes are these and eighth notes are these, then the triplet is, these are triplets. Uh, but this pattern, the syncopation pattern, a 16th, eighth, 16th is I'm repeating it over and over. Da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. So the 16th is the emphasized note, but the note that follows is a longer one, and that gives the rhythmic shift. Um, so anyways, uh, uh, practice this rhythm at least once a week, uh, once a day for a week. Uh, and, um, and so and enjoy it. All right, bye.